For the AP oblique projection, position the patient's body for a 45 degree angle using an RPO or LPO position. It's very important that you place the affected side closest to the IR. Sometimes, abducting the arm of the affected side and elevating it to uh, draw the scapula away from the rib cage is beneficial. If you do this, you simply rest the patient's hand on the side of their head. For the IR, you would like to center it one and a half to two inches above the border of the relaxed shoulder for images above the diaphragm and for images below the diaphragm, simply make sure that the inferior portion of the cassette is no lower than the iliac crest. Respiration phases are going to be very similar again if you're doing it above the diaphragm, should be after second full inspiration. If it's below the diaphragm, we're going to be getting respiration phases at the end of expiration. As far as image evaluation goes, if you're doing above the diaphragm, you should be able to visualize the first through the tenth ribs. If you're doing below the diaphragm, the eighth through twelfth ribs should be vis uh, visible. And also, once again, you should be able to visibly see ribs through the lungs um, or the abdomen, depending on the region that you are examining. One thing I'd like to note about this particular image is it also shows the importance of getting the rib attachment with the vertebral column here. Also, some uh, unfortunate things about this is we do not see uh, the completion of all of rib 1, nor do we see all of rib 12. So this person took an image right in the center of being above and below. So this is kind of a happy medium, particularly uh, maybe the image of region of interest was right here. Uh, but however, typically if you're going to be doing an upper, it should include all of 1 through 10, and a lower should be 8 through 12. So this image isn't typically uh, something that we'd really be fond of.